When you want to buy an air fryer, you come across the Philips air fryer. But what exactly is the difference between a Philips air fryer XXL and a Philips air fryer XL? Hi, I'm Pim from airfryerdaily.com. In this video, I will show you all the differences and similarities between these two models. And I'll also show you how to make french fries with these air fryers. So let's check it out. The Philips Air Fryer XL is an air fryer that is released in 2013. So it's a pretty old air fryer by now. And it uses rapid air technology. And that is basically the starfish that you can find at the bottom of the pan. With this air fryer, you can fry around 2.6 pounds of fries which is around 1200 grams of fries. So that's the maximum amount. I always recommend my readers to stay a bit below this. The frying basket has a capacity of three liters. It is just shy of 0.8 US gallons. And the Air Fryer XL is powered with a 2100 watt engine and it can reach a maximum temperature of 200 degrees Celsius, which is around 390 degrees Fahrenheit. The air fryer weighs around 15.4 pounds and it has a cable length of 31.5 inches. Okay, when we compare this with the Air Fryer XXL, the Air Fryer is released back in 2017, so it is a more recent model and it comes with twin TurboStar technology. This is a more advanced rapid air technology. More about this later. With this Air Fryer, you can fry around 3.08 pounds of fries in one session, but that is really the maximum. The frying basket has a total capacity of 0.9 US gallons and the Air Fryer XXL is powered with a 2225 watt engine and it can reach also a maximum temperature of 200 degrees Celsius which is again 390 degrees Fahrenheit. The air fryer weighs a little bit more with 8 kilograms or 17.63 pounds and the cable has a length of 40 inches and the extra cable length is a nice plus. Okay, to recap these specifications, you can see that the XXL is a bit larger in size. The frying basket is a tad bit wider and a tad bit higher and especially the extra height you get is more convenient because a larger basket can hold larger products, for instance, a like bigger chicken or taller filled bell peppers, for instance. So this is pretty nice. But when we really compare the size difference between the two, I think that the XL is just a little bit smaller than the XXL. So when we are looking inside of both air fryers, we can see they're both quite large and those machines weigh quite a bit, generally more than its competitors. The extra weight is very convenient because then the frying pan sits good on your kitchen counter and they don't scoot around when you use it. Both air fryers are made of durable and strong plastics and have a glossy black finish which do attract fingerprints and smudges quite easily but you can wipe them off without a hassle. Both models have a nice bright display with these orange digital numbers and here you can see the settings for the timer and the temperature. When we look at the top of the XL then we can see there's an edge around the top. This is used for the airflow and when we compare this with the XXL you can see the top plate sits flush so there's no edge and I really like this look way better. The downside of this edge is that crumbs and dust can accumulate here and this part is pretty difficult to clean. When we look at the rear of both air fryers, we can see that there is a compartment where you can store the cable. This is a really nice feature because you can neatly put away the cable when you store your air fryer in a kitchen cabinet, for instance. So no cables are lying around inside the cabinet, which is nice. Okay, now let's take a look inside the air fryers. Both air fryers use the same type of mechanism to open the pan and the frying basket. You open the air fryer like a drawer by pulling the handle towards you and you can leave the air fryer open. The arm below offers support for the pan so it won't fall down on your kitchen floor. The mechanism feels very sturdy and I really like this because you use it quite a lot to shake up your products inside the uh, air fryer. And I can see that the XXL is a more evolved version of that of the XL. The frying basket looks pretty similar between these two. The only difference is the bottom part of the basket. You can see that the XL has a square shaped mesh pattern, while the XXL has a diamond mesh pattern. I'm not really sure which one is better over the other, but 
What makes the XXL more unique is that you can remove the bottom part for easy cleaning. Lastly, the XXL basket has rubber feet so you can place it when it's cooled down on your kitchen counter without the chance of scratching the surface. Over to the pan which holds the frying basket. This part is really unique with Philips air fryers because of the inside. Here you can see this star shaped pattern and only Philips air fryers can contain this because it is a patented technology. It feels very smooth and it helps to optimize the hot air circulation inside the air fryer. The main difference here is that the XXL contains a second layer at the bottom of the pan and this is a plastic element which is easily removable which also makes it convenient and easy to clean. The reason for this element to sit inside the pan is it prevents liquids like oils and fats from splashing around in the air fryer. Okay, so how do you operate the machines? It is very easy. Basically, you set up your air fryer adjusting the timer and the temperature. In this video, I will show you how to make some golden brown crispy french fries. So when we look at the XL, we see that you operate the air fryer with touch sensitive buttons. These buttons are not clickable and you can only hear a beeping sound when you press it. Besides the timer and the temperature, you can also find the start and stop button, a favorite button which remembers your favorite setting, and you can find the on and off button. The downside here is that you can only see the timer or the temperature at once. You can't see them both at the same time. When we compare this with the XXL, we can see both the timer and temperature are presented on the digital display. The main difference with the XXL is that it combines a digital display with a rotating analog button to adjust the settings. This button can rotate and is also clickable, which feels really nice in the hand. You can change settings by rotating the knob and you accept it by pressing it. This makes it more easy to adjust settings, I think. Especially when you want to change the timer or temperature quickly during the process of air frying. There is also an option to choose from pre-programmed settings for all kinds of foods and there's a preset for fries, chicken, fish and so on and this will show you some basic timer and temperature settings but I think it's better to use the manual mode. Lastly there is a button to keep food warm for a longer period of time and this is convenient when for instance a family member is late for dinner because he's late from work or school or hobby and it's a nice feature but I have never used it to be honest. The main reason why I really like Philips air fryers is the range of accessories you can buy for your air fryer. With the standard frying basket you can air fry a lot of dishes and this is great but when you want to step it up a little bit you can extend the possibilities with all kinds of awesome attachments. For instance my favorite is the grill pan. Both the XL and the XXL have a grill accessory but I like the one from the XXL best. With the grill you can grill steak, a salmon or a bunch of vegetables. It's just awesome and it tastes delicious. I also have this grill rack you can use to create layers in your air fryer. Place some fries at the bottom of the air fryer and put some meat or fish on the top. And you can also use skewers. Then there is a baking pan you can use to bake cakes or use to steam fish with vegetables in. And the XXL also has a pizza accessory which you can use for small size fresh or frozen pizzas. I really like to create my own pizzas because they taste very good and they're ready and very quick to make inside the air fryer. So I do recommend when you buy a Philips air fryer to get some of these accessories when you want to do more than just frying food with air. The possibilities are endless really. So how do these air fryers work exactly? So let's put them to the test and make some french fries. So for both air fryers I use the exact same french fries and also the same amount which is one and a half pounds of french fries around 700 grams and they're coming just from the supermarket they are not frozen. We begin with the Philips air fryer XL and this air fryer can hold over 2.6 pounds of fries but I do recommend not to put too much inside the frying basket to achieve quick and good results. First I preheat the air fryer at 356 degrees Fahrenheit. The preheating of an air fryer only takes a few minutes and in the meantime you can prepare your fries a little bit. When the temperature is reached I fill the basket with the fries and close it immediately to prevent hot air from escaping the air fryer. I put the timer at around 20 minutes and that is it. Every 5 minutes or so I will take a look inside the air fryer and shake up the fries a little bit so they get evenly fried. The 20 minutes are passed so let's take a look inside for the first result. I think they are still a little bit pale so I will like them more crispy and golden brown. So what I do is add 2 more minutes and then they should be ready. 
Okay, so they're done. Let's take a look inside the air fryer and you can see they're nice golden brown and crispy. Those extra two minutes really helped to enhance the fries a little bit more and they are really crispy, yeah, super nice. So you can see here that I adjust the time a little bit and air frying is really a matter of adjusting settings and looking at your dish. You have to experiment a little bit in order to understand what the best settings are for each product or dish. So let's put the fries in a nice bowl and you can see they are really nice and crispy and soft from the inside. Delicious! So how easy is it to clean the Philips Air Fryer XL? Let's take a look inside the air fryer. We can spot some crumbs of the french fries and some fats and oils. And the thing I normally do is just pour in some dish soap and some water and let it soak for a moment. Then just get back to dinner and when it's time to clean everything, just put the whole basket and the pan inside your sink. Run some hot water over it and grab a soft sponge or scrubber and start cleaning the basket from the inside from the outside and also the pan just do it gently and uh, things will come off pretty easily like i mentioned before the basket of the philips air fryer xl is a little bit harder to clean in comparison with the xxl that's because the bottom part you can't remove so when everything is clean just rinse it off one more time and just put it aside on your drying rack where it can drain out a little bit Okay, so over to the Philips Air Fryer XXL. Again, I'm using the same amount of fries. And the first thing I do is preheat the Philips Air Fryer XXL. They tell you that preheating is not necessary with this air fryer, but I always preheat my air fryer. So I preheat the Philips Air Fryer to 356 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius. And when the air fryer is hot and ready, I pour in the french fries into the basket and I set the timer to 20 minutes just like the Philips Air Fryer XL. So now we wait and we shake up the fries a little bit. Every five minutes I will check the french fries and shake them up so they get evenly baked so they are nice and crispy from all the sides. So let's shake them up one more time and then the 20 minutes have passed. So let's take a look inside the frying basket. And what I see here is uh, pretty much the same as with the Philips Air Fryer XL. They weren't done quite yet, so let's add another two minutes to the frying time and see how they will look after 22 minutes. And I checked them, but they weren't quite done yet. So I have to add two more minutes and I raise the temperature to the maximum, which is 392 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 200 degrees Celsius. So it took two more minutes in comparison with the Philips Air Fryer XL. That has something to do with the larger capacity of the frying basket. But the french fries were looking very good. So let's put them on a plate and check them out. So they are golden brown crispy and very nice so just the way you want it and it took no fats or oils only hot air to prepare these french fries and with some ketchup they're tasting delicious and how about cleaning the Philips Air Fryer XXL well let's take a look inside the frying basket we can see some crumbs of the french fries inside the basket and some fats and oils here and there although the fats and oils are a little bit less than with the Philips Air Fryer XL. The cleaning process of the parts are pretty much the same as with the XL. So I pour in some warm water and some dish soap and I use a scrubber to clean all the parts from the air fryer, which are the basket, the frying pan, and also the uh, second layer. And what is very convenient here is that you can remove the bottom of the frying basket. So cleaning is a little bit more easy. So when everything is clean, I rinse out all the dish soap and then uh, put it on the rack aside to let it soak out. Well, which air fryer is the best option for you? Is it the smaller Air Fryer XL or its larger brother, the Philips Air Fryer XXL? If you ask me, I would get the Philips Air Fryer XXL because it is the recent and more advanced model. Also, I like the larger capacity, the removable part of the frying basket and the wide variety of air fryer accessories. But for smaller households and smaller budgets, the Philips Air Fryer XL is still a very good option you won't regret. Even today, this is still an awesome device. So thank you for watching this comparison video. This was Pim from airfrydaily.com. And when you have questions about these or other air fryers, 
feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about air fryers.